Yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it If we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it Really on go, I don't know what's an off day. Now we on road, keep us. What is good, y'all? You dig what I'm saying? It's your boy J.I. And I'm back at it again with another banger video. As you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail, the harness has finally come in for the AFM valve. So right now I'm about to pull the car up on the lift. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the old harness out, get the new harness spliced in. We'll clear the cold. And we'll see, man. Honestly, I'm not 100% sure if this is going to work, to be honest with y'all. Y'all are actually going to know more than me. If this video goes live, then yeah, it's it worked. If you're watching this video, then yeah, it worked. If you don't see this video ever, then it didn't work. So uh, right now, I'm about to pull the car up and uh, we're going to we'll see what's up. We're going to get it popping. Y'all smash that like button and subscribe button for the kid right now for good luck. Wish your boy luck that this works. All right, y'all, so this harness right here, see how easy it was for me to take this off? This is what we're gonna be replacing. As y'all can see, it's corroded right there and right there. So I'm pretty sure this harness is no good and that's why this valve is stuck closed. So hopefully swapping this out fixes the issue. So this is what the harness looks like. It's literally a connector and then they, uh, give you some connectors so you can splice in. You're literally gonna be cutting the wires and then splicing them. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to it and I'll try to set the camera up to get a time lapse. I'm not sure if I will be able to, but you already know I'm gonna keep y'all updated. All right, y'all, so I just wanna update y'all just in case you're doing this yourself because there's no instruction manual for real um, that's gonna help you be able to do this. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your harness, I'm gonna cut my light back on, Hopefully it doesn't trip out the camera. So you're gonna take your stock harness, you're gonna cut it at a good amount of length. That way you'll be able to see the wires because like I said, there's no instructions and the wires on the new harness are gonna come pure white. So you're gonna have to go based off of the old harness when you're re-splicing these wires. So I'm gonna start from the left and work my way down and start splicing these joints. And then we'll cut the car on and see if the valve opens. All right, y'all, first step, I'm gonna go ahead and clear the code. Okay, say that it's clear. I'm gonna turn the car off, start it up. So the checking light, engine light goes away immediately. I'm sorry if the camera's blurry, y'all. I tried wiping it multiple times. Um, turn it back off and then turn it on. Okay, so it turned off. Now I'm gonna leave it to idle for a little bit because it usually turns back on. So we're gonna leave it to idle for a little bit and we'll know if it works. All right, y'all, so as y'all can see, I am currently in the car right now. Um, I decided to take it out, take it around the block, put some miles on it, and see if it will relearn on its own. Um, but I doubt it. Honestly, y'all, I'm gonna keep it a buck. My mind is kind of leaning towards the, the valve itself. I really think the valve ended up taking the crap on me solely because I ended up taking the screws out and taking it off completely and I shook it a little bit and it sounded like there was something broken on the inside of the actuator so I don't know maybe the valve ended up breaking and that's the situation that we're in but who knows man um, if that is the case and the valve is actually broken what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get the AWE AFM delete kit Wildhammer Motorsports if they have it in stock and then I'm gonna go ahead and install it
basically what that is is it's two brackets that go in between your actuator and your valve itself and what it does is it basically tells your car that the valve is open 100% and it basically makes the actuator stay in the open position so hopefully um you know i don't need to buy that kit and the car will fix itself but i don't know i doubt it um i just was looking at the driver's side and the driver's side's connector is the same way as the passenger side's connector as you guys already know the retaining clip didn't work um, and so it would always like come right off so I'm not a hundred percent sure I might end up getting another harness for that side as well when I get the um, the deactivation kit we'll see though I'm not a hundred percent sure man hopefully I don't need it at all like I said tunnel action you already know what we gotta do kind of scared to turn it off and turn it back on because I'm pretty sure the check engine light is going to come on when the car turns back on. Um, but screw it. Oh, wow. Huh. Okay. It's off. We're going to see though. I'm literally gonna leave the camera rolling because I got a feeling like it's gonna come back on. I'm just gonna leave the camera rolling, bro. Screw it. What the hell? Hey, yo. Instantly, that check engine light will come back on. And y'all are y'all are my witness, like, bro. I haven't turned the camera off, and this joint is still off. I'm just like, what? Like, hey, yo, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I'm not mad. <laughs> I'm not mad at all by any means that it didn't come back on. I'm kind of more nervous than anything. Cause like the fact that it didn't come back on, I don't want to get comfortable that it's off and be like, oh yeah, my car's fixed. Finally it's fixed. And then it comes back on. But like, bro, so far so good. Like. I'm like, damn, do we turn it off and turn it back on again and see? <laughs> Cause when I remote started it, fuck it. What the fuck? Wow. It, it's, it's 
it's not turning back on, y'all. I think we may have fixed the issue. I think we may have fixed the issue, bro. Oh my God. Vader, don't be acting good because you on camera right now. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, y'all. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, put a cark in my stall, raise it back up, kind of clean up the wires and everything one more time. Just make sure everything's clean. And then in a separate video, I'm actually gonna be working on my dash cam because as you guys see, it ain't recorded right now. It ain't even on. I have it plugged in. I'm not 100% sure if maybe my cigarette lighter went out or if it's the cam itself. I had literally just used the cigarette lighter to put air in my passenger rear tire because I caught a nail and then I plug in the camera and it doesn't work anymore. So I'm not really sure what's going on there. If it's just the camera, maybe the, uh, the adapter, the connector for the cigarette lighter, maybe it's broken. If that's the case, then what I'm gonna do is I'm literally going to just say, screw it, cut the connector off and then wire the camera into the fuse for the cigarette lighter just like my gauges are and then that way the camera would literally cut on every time the car is on so that'll be dope but yeah that's just something else to mention but it's still not on y'all like i'm so surprised right now bro like what the Ew. <laughs> vader just put out a fat joint just did that was crazy like y'all ever get like for those of y'all whose car is backfired, do y'all ever get that one random backfire that always happens, like I said, on random, spur of the moment, the car just does it on its own, and it's so loud and aggressive that you literally feel the pop through the seat of your, like, car, bro? I don't know if that's just me, but, like, yeah, bro, it's, it's doing its thing. I don't know. No check engine light still. Just got back to the J and still no check engine light. Wow. I'm not. Wow. I don't know. I really don't know. Turned the car off three times and turned it back on. And no issue. I'm very tempted to remote start it now and see if it does the same thing. That's probably what I'm going to do before I take it off the lift. Finally is do a remote start and see if the check engine light comes back on. But so far, so good, no bad. Let's get this car up in here. Just like that, y'all, I pull the car in, remote started, and the check engine light comes back on. What the fuck? 